Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make buffalo fried seafood. I will also be teaching you how to make some homemade buffalo sauce and some in and out copycat fry sauce. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the buffalo sauce. Melt 3 tablespoons of butter in a small saucepan over medium heat. When the butter is melted, add 2 thirds cup of red hot original hot sauce. Then add 1 4th teaspoon of cayenne pepper, 1 4th teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, 1 half tablespoon of white vinegar, 1 eighth teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 eighth teaspoon of pepper, and 1 eighth teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Whisk everything together until well combined. Then place your sauce off the heat and into a container. Make sure to peel and devein your shrimp. Make sure you clean and deshell all of your seafood. Season your seafood. The seasonings I used were pepper, onion powder, Cajun seasoning, and Creole seasoning. In a bowl, crack four eggs. Then add one teaspoon of hot sauce. Whisk until smooth. When you're finished, set it to the side. In a small pan, add a good amount of flour. Now add some seasonings to your flour. I added pepper, Creole seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and Old Bay. Mix everything together until well combined. In another small square pan, add some breadcrumbs. Season the breadcrumbs with Cajun seasoning, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Then mix until everything is well combined. Pour your egg mixture inside of a small pan as well and then you are ready to start coating your seafood. Alright, so first you want to coat it in flour. and then into the egg mixture. And then back into the flour. And then back into the egg mixture. Then you coat it in the bread mixture. And 
and then back into the egg mixture. And then back into the bread. I know this seems like a lot, but it's totally necessary. Your seafood needs a thick coating because when it cooks inside the air fryer, the seafood's juices are gonna come out and make your fried seafood all soggy and gross, and that isn't what you want. We're creating a thick coating so that doesn't happen and your fried seafood stays crispy. You could also try doing flour, then egg, then bread, then egg, then bread again. It might be a tiny bit soggy in some places though. All right, so with the mussels, we're only doing one layer. Dip in the flour, then dip in the egg, and then dip in the breadcrumbs. Since the mussels are already cooked, they don't need as much breading or coating as the other pieces of seafood. Now place your pieces of seafood inside the air fryer. Make sure not to overcrowd the air fryer. Just cook them a few pieces at a time. Three minutes into cooking your seafood, flip them over. Once your seafood is finished frying in the air fryer, take them out. When you're cooking your mussels, only cook them for about 3 minutes at 370 degrees. Pour your buffalo sauce in a small pan. Then coat your seafood. Now we're just going to cook some fries in the air fryer. Once it's been about 10 minutes, my fries are usually done. Place your fries in a bowl and then add some seasoned salt. Shake up the bowl until your fries are evenly coated. Now we're going to make a simple fry sauce. This sauce is actually a copycat recipe from In-N-Out. In a small bowl, add 1 4th cup of mayonnaise. Then add 1 4th cup of ketchup, 1 8th cup of relish, 1 half teaspoon of mustard, 1 half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and 1 4th teaspoon of pepper. Mix everything together until well combined. Put everything together and you are all finished. Go ahead and enjoy your buffalo fried seafood with fries and dipping sauce. You can eat the buffalo fried seafood with ranch or blues cheese dressing, Honestly, I like blue cheese way more than ranch. By the way, I know the coating is really thick, but that was to prevent the seafood from becoming soggy and falling apart. 
you can add a lighter coat and see how that does like maybe just do um, double breading it instead of double flour double breaded or you could try using a different breading then again if you like it thick this is totally for you thank you thank you so much for watching the video everything I use in the video will be down in the description below don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye